and let the pieces of skin fly. Hey guys, it's Dr. Carter here at Lexington Podiatry, and today we have a weird case. I'm not really sure what it is. They don't really know what caused it, but it looks like a blood blister, and I'm extremely hopeful something will come out of it. So we're gonna gently take some of this away and we're gonna see if it's all dried out, if something leaks out at us. Ooh, look at that. This was a blood blister that was caused by something. We're not exactly sure. Um, he doesn't recall an injury, so more than likely it's just the way that he was walking. Um, maybe he did a little too much walking. Maybe it was the shoes he had on. Maybe his feet were swollen one day. There's a lot of different things that can lead to a blister forming. We definitely don't want to go into any of the good skin. And sometimes that's difficult because it is so fragile and you can't tell how far to go. So we gotta take it little by little. And let the pieces of skin fly. You're doing great. Part of it comes over in here too. So I'm gonna to try to scrape all of the bad stuff off just to make sure that I'm not missing something. Oh, look at that. There is a wound there. That's an ulcer, which is an open wound. Sometimes people will come in and the wound is buried by a callus and they feel like I caused it because I trimmed all the dead skin off. There's really no way we could make a wound like this necessarily. Um, well, will that medicine help that? Um, it will help it. It's the nitro bid, correct. It will get more blood flow in here and help with the healing process. It won't close it, and we do need wound care products on the wound as well as using that cream around the bottom of your toe. So we'll do both things together, and that will help. All right, so that's what was hiding beneath what looked like a blood blister. Um, the wound was created more than likely from pressure with the callus, and then the fluid leaked around the toe to an area of lesser resistance, which was over here where the skin was a little bit more thin, a little bit more fragile, and there it created the blister. Um, now that we've opened it all up, the edges of the wound can actually come together um, and it can heal over. So you always need to open up a wound and not keep it covered with bad tissue. You want it to heal in with good tissue. That is a misconception that a lot of people have is they think that it's healed and they don't want us to touch it to open it back up. But if it's covered with, like I said, non-viable tissue, which is like dead callus tissue, you have to get that stuff off. Perfect. We're gonna dress this. There's not a lot of drainage with it now. So we're gonna put a little bit of an antibiotic ointment on it and a gauze, and then we'll get them some instructions for home. So as you can see, looks are sometimes deceiving. Sometimes you don't get the big gushing wound or blister that you thought. Sometimes it's an issue that's already taking care of itself and you just have to complete the process. Thanks for watching today. If you love videos like this, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.